Autism can make forming relationships extremely difficult. Alex is 24 and looking for love. Thank you. I would treat a woman romantically and with respect. Take his beautiful quarter, kiss her hand occasionally. Do you think you'd be a good boyfriend? Yes. Around half of adults with autism still live with their parents. Alex lives at home with his mum, Peggy, and has a type of autism called Asperger's syndrome. It would be nice if you met a girl who was part of her family, just looking for a nice guy who's honest and doesn't like to go drinking too much and doing other dodgy things. And... Mm. Whilst people like Alex can have above average intelligence, they can find relationships and communicating complicated. I hope that, that it would be somebody like you. There's, there's very good things about Asperger's that are good things to have in a boyfriend. You're, you know, you'll be on time and you'll be honest. you're honest and Very you won't mess them about. And um, they, they have to understand that you like things a certain way sometimes and, and can't explain why you don't. You don't really want to have someone who's... Smokes, drinks too much. Yeah, it wouldn't be a good idea to have a, a heavy drinker, yeah. I'll just go with the flow. Do you not think that you might be taken advantage of? Yes. Yes, but I'll go to so if I think I'll take advantage I'll stop. You don't have to have a girlfriend, that's the only thing you need to know. Well, I'm not having a boyfriend. Well, that's not what I mean. <laughs> Alex has put his efforts into finding love online. And the last time I paid was on Match.com for £22.80 for one month. And so, how many people have contacted you on this? They were replying to me, saying their things and things. Nothing much. So, you're doing all the pursuing? Yes. <clears throat> and what's your criteria in a woman? Five foot six, it is to six feet five. Would six foot five be a bit tall? Hmm. Well, roughly my height, to be honest. I'm not so well to I don't mind what colour eyes, what colour hair, any ethnics, any faith, any education, <laughs> any language, any profession, any amount of money, no way on smoking. What if you met a really nice girl but she smoked? I wouldn't mind. I'm not picky, as I say. You know, what is it that comes with a girlfriend that you're looking for? Someone to look after me and I'll look after her in the turn. What other things would you like to do with a girlfriend? To have a family. Mm. To go out and do stuff with. Mm. Like bowling and, and meet their mates and vice versa. So I'm a man and a man needs a woman. <laughs> I'm trying. Part of Alex's routine is playing pool in a local league every Tuesday night. And it seems even his pool mates know exactly what he's looking for. Yeah, I think he's like a girlfriend, yeah. What kind of girl do you think he'd go for? Oh, I don't know, any, any girl he likes. I mean, the same. Any? Anyone, yeah. There's a lot of good qualities, I'd say. He's very outgoing. It's just a case of finding the right one, really. He's my baby, but I'm probably selfish with him. And as a mum, you always want to be needed, however little it is. <laughs> I'm freezing. Oh, have you finished? One last one. Oh, jolly good. Do you think it's harder growing up with Asperger's or...? Yes. Or, yes? Yeah. Why? Why is it harder? Give me a minute. Why? Why is it harder? I don't know, you get bad temper easy sometimes. So. Hard to find a job with a problem or get a girlfriend. 
It's only a few days since I last saw Tom. Alex is back online checking messages. And this time, he's received one. So the name's Curtis, he's 19, lives in Poole. <laughs> nice name. And I also have autism. I don't know what to do now. I'll send you an email first or just go into the website. You know? <laughs> Help. See, <laughs> Kirsty, I would love to share my life with you. What I do is day is volunteer work on Mondays and Fridays, but what I'd really like to do is spend time with you, maybe one day. Are you going to ask to meet her? Sunday. After Saturday. Go and send. You look happy. Are you going or something? have a reply. That sounds good, yes, I would like to spend the day with you too. Mm. If you want to spend the day with me. Yes, I am free on Sunday. I would like to meet you. This is Kirsty, man. She looks very nice. Mm. She's very nice purple. Very nice <laughs> yes, purple. she's wearing purple. How bad can it be? Yes. <laughs> no, I might have a date. She said she would like to meet me, she said. We're just meeting, it's not a date yet. We're okay. just meeting and to say hi. Okay. It'll be a nice I might it's gonna rain on Sunday, so it'll be a wet day out on Sunday. Yeah, I've had another message. It says, Thank you very much. You look a nice person in your photo too. Happy face. My favourite colour is blue because of dolphins. I'll try to remember that too. Like. Only 15% of people with autism are in full time employment. Alex is lucky enough to work part time for a local security company. I interviewed for an office assistant and Alex sent a letter in and it did say that he had mild Asperger's on, on the letter. It's only for the fact that he was so honest. On his CV, he didn't try and hide it. He actually said, "This is what, this is what's wrong with me. This is what I can do, and I'd like to show you what I can do." That we actually said, "Okay, we'll see you," mm. and we haven't looked back since. My way to sleep. Alex has told his workmates about his upcoming meeting with Kirsty. What does she look like? No. Have you seen pictures of her? Yeah, I've seen the pictures. Have you met her? You've never met her yet? No. no. She sent me a picture on an email. Oh, well, there you go then. See, so that's ideal, isn't it? Not the same as actually. No, but what it does, it gives you an introduction, doesn't it? It gives you, like, something to talk about, you know. So. You just need to see how it goes, and if it doesn't work out, clock it up to experience and start again, really. Yeah. What's good for you on this is you can actually talk to somebody that's got exactly the same as yourself. Mm. Whereas that must be really hard for you to date somebody that hasn't. Mm. So you can have a nice cuddle or something with a little bit of humpy bit there. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just, yeah. I mean, love story. <laughs> Don't wear that tie either. <laughs> if I was any cooler, I'd be in an ice cube. Alex is preparing for his meeting with Kirsty. I get nervous on the first day. I'm not very talkative. It's more like an interrogation. Have you thought about what you'll talk about? No. It's a bit hard to know what to talk about if you don't know anything about the person you're meeting, apart from that you've got monopoly. Thank you. Thank you. Is it nice seat? There's a nice table there. Alex's mum Peggy is dropping him at the cafe. After that, 
he's on his own. Yes, I'll call you when yes. I'm finished, man. Okay. See you later. Set routines. Yes, yeah. I do everything by the book and like to be on time and things like that. Yeah. Do you know about uh, Facebook? Facebook? Yeah. Not really. It's an online social networking site. You can chat to your friends on there as well. I don't have many friends. You've got me. <laughs> yes, I mean, apart from you. You'll always be my friend, Kirsty. I will be your friend. <laughs> always. Yeah. By the way, you've got a piece of chocolate there. Would you yeah. like to go for a walk? Mm. So we, the lady. It'd be nice if they could just sort of support one another, even if there's nothing else, because they live quite a long way apart, so that's awkward. It was nice to see you. It was nice to meet you. Alright. Take nice care. Nice to meet you again sometime. Yeah. Okay. Keep in contact. Yeah. yeah okay, bye. bye. It was fun. What did you think of Alex? <laughs> it's nice. And do you think you'll see her again? Hopefully. It'll be nice to see her again. These are face cards. <laughs> they help people with autism to tell you how um, you're feeling. <laughs> this is how I felt when I saw Alex. Excited. And how do you feel now? I feel very happy. <laughs> is this the start of a beautiful relationship? I don't know. It could be. It's been 